This is Ve Victus, and it is one of the largest projects we have ever seen in custom zombies history. Essentially bringing Outbreak from Cold War into Black Ops 3 zombies. We have custom objectives, custom quests, including an easter egg, as well as a bunch of weapons that also includes a custom wonder weapon. And yeah, I might be four months late to this, but it doesn't matter because today we're gonna play the map and we're gonna beat the map. Now I have heard some incredible things about this map over the past couple of months. So I'm really, really hoping this lives up to expectations that I have in my teeny little brain. Okay, so that's clearly my objective that I've got to go towards. There was a bunch of dialogue in the beginning, which I think is custom dialogue, which is kind of sick. We've got chests from Cold War. I've got myself an M16 off the rip. God damn. Absolute, actually just a huge gun to get straight away, which is incredible for me. God, having not played this game for literal months, all of my settings got reset, and now I have to figure it all out again, and I am not a happy human being. <laughs> but enough of that. I have God knows how much stuff to do. Because this is so- this is on a scale way bigger than I actually thought it was going to be. And I am now realizing that firsthand. So we've got a dozen or so, we've got like, what, half a dozen box locations it looks like? I think there's seven. I think they're box locations, or are they something else? Actually, we're gonna run over to one of them, because there's two of them very close together. Okay, so these are box locations, it looks like, and it also looks like I have just walked into farm, the building from farm. A very, very low detailed building from farm? Okay, so it is. Do I want to spend my points on the box? Probably not, considering I already have an M16 that has plenty of bullets in, which is huge. I know there's a bunch of, like, objectives that you can do, like, holdouts and, like, lockdowns and, like, extraction stuff and like that, and I know I've got to complete a few of those to, like, get to the first step for the easter egg, but the first things first I actually need to do ooh, is go find what that gold thing is. <laughs> is that a perk? Oh my god, I got a free perk. Press F for electric cherry. I hit apps. Yeah, I'll take a free perk. But I think first things first is I need to kind of figure out what I'm actually doing here. Any perks around? A little joke. Ooh, a little bit of double tap. Do I buy double tap? I'm going to buy double tap. Why not? Now, I had the one thing I haven't checked is to see if there is a perk limit. And I'm really hoping there isn't. I almost died. What is my death machine? I wonder what. This is the best map I've ever played. <laughs> and what is that? Oh my god, I got a fling grenade. What the hell is that? We are gonna find out. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Deploy parachute. I'm flying. Okay. So that sends you actually flying. Okay. Let's not throw that accidentally, because that is one million percent how I get myself killed. We're doing it again. Oh, I only have one? Oh, that sucks. We're gonna go interact with this big purple crystal, like the game so clearly wants me to do. F to hold out. Oh, so these, I get it. So these, I assume then, are gonna be like my uh, mission starters, I guess? Okay, that's bright. I'm blind. Oh my god, I'm here. Seriously? You're gonna send me to bus depot for me to... Retrieve a legendary LMG for one key. Press F to insert key. I have zero keys. Give me a key. I, that looks like a hammer. I want a hammer. If I can get a legendary hammer off the rip, I am the happiest human being alive. I want to give me, yeah, I want that. It shouldn't be too difficult. I've got an N94 and Gersh devices. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this map, like, there, there is like a weapons list on the Steam Workshop that I just like, I had a little quick, a quick little gander at, but I didn't realize there was like so many just like cool stuff in this. I got Gersh devices, I got M16s, I got an N94. There's fling grenades, which I think is one of the new custom things for the map. I mean, it clearly is, because <laughs> I don't remember them being in Call of Duty Zombies. But, like, there's just, there's so much cool stuff. And, like, if there was ever anything that was going to get me back on Black Ops 3 Zombies, it was always going to be this map. Oh, boy, I'm glad I chose today to play this game. What is that? Uh, activate Rampage Inducer. Is tempting, but considering I haven't played this before, I don't want to activate it just yet in case I get myself killed. I also don't know if I want fling grenades or monkeys. What is that? Perk? Yeah. Jug? Perfect. Okay, so at least I have Jug involved in my first four perks, just in case there is a perk limit. Don't think there is, though. Another fling grenade? I've got two of those now. <laughs> I'm flying. I ain't walking anywhere ever again. And that is the first objective done. I did not like that shake. What was that? <laughs> okay, i got to locate a beacon. Bus location... Bus beacon located. Board the bus. What is going on? 
<laughs> okay, I know I should go to the objective, but I do really just want to see if I can find a couple of perks. Mainly stamina, because this map is massive. And I don't want to be running around the entire time like a decrepit old man. Okay, let's not trap ourselves in the one-way rooms. Although, what is that? That's dead shot. Can I buy dead shot? All right, so there's no perk limit, it looks like. Or the perk limit is five, and I've just doomed myself. All right, the bus has been found. Oh. Oh. Are you telling me? Ooh, another perk. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Are you telling me that they have a system in place where I can then be transported to other maps within this one map? Just like you have in the actual Outbreak mode in Cold War? Like, that is insane. I thought this was just like one like massive map. Th that is actually blowing my mind. And because this AN-94 seems to be incredible, I am also just going to quickly get that packer punched. Instant packer punch. Love that for me. Can I buy myself a little bit of stamina up? I can. And then we get on the bus. Change rounds. That is so good. Oh, this map is like so much more in-depth and detailed than I actually thought it would be. That is insane. I'm assuming then you can only do one objective per round. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. We're just going to beeline it straight to the objective then, considering I already have seven perks and a Pack-a-Punch gun. I'm feeling pretty good. Although I would... Oh, it's a Pack-a-Punch tier one gun as well, so they have tiers and everything. Oh my god, this mod is insane. Like, I'm not going to, like, lie. Most, like, custom maps are not that good. This is nuts. Begin the blood ritual. Oh, where am I going? Why am I flying? Uh-uh. Oh my god, well, I, I don't like this. Okay, don't break my legs. What just happened? What am I doing? What do I have to do here? I'm assuming just kill things? Oh, what the f- What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, little warning would have been nice. So we've got a panzer boss that I've got to kill. <laughs> I'm not freaking out in the slightest. Definitely not. Okay, special ability, throw that out, blow up, go boom. Okay, there we go. Ooh, no, I wanted- Do I not get loot <laughs> from that? I guess not. Okay, the NH mine seems a little bit powerful. I don't like it. <laughs> Especially if I'm going to be thrown into mini boss fights. Like, just like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, Jesus Christ, that keeper scared the crap out of me. Oh, a little, can I pick this up? No? Okay, that's pain. You're going to bait me with a right shield I can't even use? That's great. Okay, this panzer is not a happy human. He's not even human. I mean, he might be once. Okay, just focus the panzer. Just focus the panzer. You got a pack punch gun. Jesus Christ. It's actually a Kranzi sold out as well, so you know for a fact it's just going to be hell to deal with. <laughs> oh my god, Kevin Sherwood Obs is the, the panzer. Oh, the poor guy. Give me the jug. Give me whatever it was. Just okay. Okay, all right. Back to the bus we go then. <laughs> okay, let's get myself a little bit of PhD and a little bit of speed cola. Looks like I've got all the perks, and we're moving into the next round. Okay, now before we get too far into this video, I do just quickly want to talk about something, which is something I mentioned on uh, Twitter today, or yesterday for you seeing this, because it's probably going on Sunday, is I am so incredibly tempted to buy myself a PS5, right? <laughs> and to start a second channel where we do like platinum like trophy hunting kind of like videos and like you know like zombies is a bit of a lull right now and it's gonna be like this until let's be honest probably like what october november when the new game's rumored to come out and i just think it would be something that i like would i would personally really love to do but obviously you know I don't want to jump headfirst into something that could obviously land flat on its face. But I did also just want to put out like a couple of feelers just to see like what, how you guys would feel about doing about something like that. If you would be interested in subscribing to a channel of mine that is about platinum trophy hunting and whatnot. Because genuinely, it's like some of the like most entertaining content I think you can watch on YouTube and it's like one of the only like types of gaming content I actually watch as well. It's just I'm so tempted to do it like to the point where I generally feel like I need someone to tell me not to but even then I don't think I'm gonna listen to them. <laughs> so let me know. Break the chains. Oh that is a small circle. That is a bright light. I'm blind once again. So I basically have to stay inside of the circle. So this is basically just the final step of Tag the Totem. Okay. Oh my god. Where the hell did you come from? Jesus Christ. Can't be sneaking up on me like that pal. Oh, this KRM is smacking as well. I mean, I don't know how, like, health is scaling for zombies and how damage is... What is that? 
I don't know. I should probably not. Ow! <laughs> like, as I was saying, I don't know how, like, health is scaling and how, like, damage is scaling in this, uh, this map. Oh, where's my... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There is a lot of things going on here. Jesus Christ. Ah, I'm gonna go down. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Maybe I am. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, throw that down. Yep. I need to kill the Tempest. That's the wrong gun. I hate Mule Kick. Okay, this is way more intense. Where the hell is my AN? Oh, my nuke went away as well. I don't know if I can go outside the zone. Okay, definitely, definitely need to get the KRM pack punched. That gun is going to be my savior. I need to get this Mangler killed as well. But I can't see him. Where's that? Perk, don't need them. Got them all. <laughs> I'd like to know. Actually, that's probably perfect. Throw the monkey down. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, a little. we can relax a little bit. All right, I've got three, two more monkeys. And it looks like we're coming to the end of this. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't really know. Tempest gone. Dogs. Jesus Christ, where'd they come from? No, I guess it's just... Uh, oh, okay, don't go out the zone. Don't go outside the zone. I went down. I got trapped between a zombie and a door. That is super duper great. <laughs> I, so I better not die because I don't want to have to restart this entire thing. Oh my god, oh, I lost all my perks. Oh no. Oh no. That's not very Cold War like of you. <laughs> I was hoping to at least keep a couple. Oh my god, this gun now sucks without double tap and the other perk that I had. Okay, I think it's done. I'm leaving. Okay, that got a bit more stressful than I would have liked. We got to board the bus, and I think that's my opening three objectives done, which means I think we can now move into the actual Easter egg, like, steps properly now. But first things first is I do need to get a couple of perks back. <laughs> the... Oh, I got a key. Oh. Oh, where's... Where's the... Oh, God. Where was that legendary LMG? It was in... God, I don't know. I don't even know if I can get to it. It was in... Where was it? It was in the bus depot. What is this, though? This is... That looks like a legendary shotgun. That also looks like an Olympia. No. <laughs> no. I'm not falling for that. That is bait. Not falling for it. Although, what if it's just a random shotgun? What if I get a legendary KRM? Ooh, decisions. <laughs> yep. Let's just get rid of all the riffraff. Get me some perks. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that, and give me that. Do you know what? I think it's worth the risk. I think I think this is worth the risk. A legendary gun could be huge. Legendary shotgun, and it's giving me a Haymaker 12. Ooh. Okay, probably one of the better shotguns I could have got. Don't actually know what shotguns are in the game in general, but I will absolutely take a legendary Haymaker. Oh, there's a Tempest. Do you know what? We're going to leave. <laughs> okay, so the first three objectives have been done. I've got to retrieve something, so that's my next main objective. But for the Easter egg steps, I know I've now got to head to the diner, and I've got to grab something in the shack behind the Yellow House of Nuketown. Didn't even know Nuketown was on the map. Not even seen it yet. Where the hell is Nuketown? So apparently there's an artifact in here that I can grab. And I'm assuming, yep, artifacts. It's basically just a summoning key, I think. <laughs> okay, and I now know I've also got to head to Nuketown and find another artifact. The only problem is I haven't seen Nuketown once on this map, so where the goddamn hell is it? Wait, is that Nuketown in the distance, maybe? I think it might be. We're going to go have a little gander over here. Mm, a legendary Galil? Absolutely, I'm taking that over the AN-94. Absolutely. And it's the Black Ops 1 Galil. Hell yeah. Although I think it makes sense for Nuketown to be near Area 51. And it's looking like this is, in fact, Nuketown. Okay, so apparently Shack behind Yellow House. I can hear it. Oh, God. I don't want to go in there and die. Where is that? Ring of Fire. Oh, that's huge. I should probably take that. We're going to put that down. I'm actually going to throw down a Gersh device, because there is so many zombies here. Take out the Tempest. Actually, he... All the way over there. Take him out. Grab the artifact. Okay, what have we got dropped here? We got a quick revive. Need that. Oh, no, my ring of fire despawned. God damn it. Okay, I think it's probably time we actually go and complete. Oh, there he is. He is huge! And there's a Panzer. Oh, this is... This is just... This is great. I am not having a good time. I've got a goddamn warden chasing me. There's a Panzer chasing me. Oh my god. Like, I may have legendary guns, but I don't exactly have pack punch yet. So that's wonderful. Oh my Jesus Christ. I love the variety in enemies, though. The fact that, like, I've got loads of keepers chasing me and furies, as well as, like, zombies. And there's also, like, boss zombies spawning in and chasing me. 
Big fan of that. Really do like it. Retrieve the skulls. Uh, okay. So this is just like the the nuke thing in Cold War. Retrieve the skulls. It's upstairs. How do I get in there, though? That's locked. Um, how <laughs> do I get in the building if I don't have a key? And I've got two minutes to figure this out. Spoilers. Not going to figure this out. <laughs> okay. Looks like I found a way up. Oh, my God. Have I got to do goddamn parkour while I was being chased by 200 things? Okay. Uh... Skull number one, acquired. Deploy that, that's in. Okay, now how do I get up here? That is my only other question. There's a zip line, okay, I see it, but am I gonna have enough time? Oh my god, oh my, hello? Get up on the, there we go. And then zip line over, I've got 20 seconds. Yoink, and I uh, just throw. Nope, I got stunned. Throw it. In, we we win. Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> that was way more intensive than I thought it was going to be. Would have been nice to have had like a little bit of a heads up that I was going to have to like do parkour and figure out how to climb buildings in two minutes. All right, so now that I've traveled to the next round, I believe I've got to head back to Area 51 and I've got to use... A big old gun, apparently. So apparently I gotta shoot down the artifact above Nuketown. Fire all players. Holy hell. Jesus Christ. Alright, so I'm assuming I need to go pick up whatever I just shot down. Whatever it was I shot down. I should really be listening to, like, the, uh... The dialogue and whatnot. <laughs> when, like, they, like, I do, like, an objective. Which would probably really help me figure out what the hell I'm doing for the next part. I'm not, though. <laughs> like, I'm just here to shoot zombies and have a good time. And right now, <laughs> I'm doing plenty of both. Okay, so there's something to investigate in town. And I'm seeing it <laughs> pretty plainly right in the middle. Okay. Requires Artemis interface. Where do I get that from, then? Oh, this is now going to start showing my lack of knowledge for the actual zombie storyline. And it's going to make me look like an idiot, and I'm going to be very sad. Remove Ted head. I'm assuming that's what I have to do. Okay, so I think the guide now says I need to place his head on the MPD. So that's what we're doing. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. You can't do that to me, pal. Okay, so I think I just need to, yeah, survive for two minutes. Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, great, I got 10% survival chance. Uh, thanks, game. I really appreciate that one. Oh, there's a friggin' panzer. I didn't pick up the Gersh device. Give me that. Uh, throw down, throw, yeah, we're just gonna throw that down. Hurry up. Where's the panzer? You get to die, pal. Sorry, but actually, no, I'm not. Is that ring of fire? Fling grenade, ring of fire, huge. Alright, but survival has been done. That got a lot more intense than I was expecting it to. <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, so we're continuing to the next round, so that means we're gonna get a nice little pack punch on our Galil. Make the gun ten times better than it is. Give me PhD. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Galil is starting to shine. Okay, so I did a, a quick little nosy at the guide. And Ether Tool can't use it because my guns are already legendary tier. Oh, well. But I did a quick little nosy at the guide. And apparently for this next step, I need the Wonder Weapon. What is it called? The, the Longinus Legacy Wonder Weapon. What a name, I know. <laughs> um, but I need it. <gasps> LMG, do I want it? I kind of do. Oh, well, first things first, I want to get the hell out of this room. Um, so I need to figure out how to actually get a hold of the Wonder Weapon, because apparently I need to build it. So, I'm going to try and figure that out real quick. And by figure it out, I obviously mean a look at the guide. <laughs> Alright, so the guide says I need to head to, over to Nuketown. And I'm looking for some trees with faces on. Trees, trees, trees. Where are the trees? Honestly, doesn't look like a place... That'll have too many trees, but I have seen some with faces on. With faces. These trees. Okay, I got I, I got dialogue. Ah, with faces. I see it. Aha. Alright, so we feed the trees the souls. And he spits out loot, just like so. And apparently he spits out a part that I need to pick up. If I could see it. Alright, actually, do you know what? Throw down this. Didn't actually mean to do that. Meant to say throw down this. And let's just go see if he dropped me what I need. Apparently it's a staff piece. And I'm not seeing it. I'm just seeing 
Fling grenades and symbol monkeys, so that's not the right tree. Luckily for me, though, there's a few more. Also, luckily for me, these trees don't take too long to fill up on souls either. What the hell is that drop? It uh, looks like my part, I think. Maybe, was it? I don't really know. Yeah, I think it was. I got dialogue. Okay. All right, now with that piece collected, I need to head over to the bridge near church and diner, which I think is the church I was in not too long ago. Well, the church I was at least near not too long ago. And there is a crystal attached to the rocks floating above the ground, which I have to shoot and then grab. Shouldn't be too difficult. However, I'm sure I'll find a way to make it difficult. <laughs> Looking for the bridge. Looking for the bridge, and I see the bridge. I'm also sitting at 18,000 points, which is nice. 12,000 more, and we got ourselves that tier 3 pack punch, which will be a very, very good for us. And then I can also focus on maybe upgrading another gun. Hopefully, a wonder weapon. Oh, Crystal, I see it. That is the tip of the first Archon spear. Where'd it go? <laughs> you must catch the spear. Oh. So do I have to be stood, like, directly beneath it then? Oh. Oh, okay. I've got to do this. Oh, okay. I get, like, 0.2 seconds to grab the damn thing manually. That's wonderful. Love that for me. I got it. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. That's the two pieces collected. Step three. Take this crystal and the staff to the pool of green liquid close to the lighthouse mountain. On the bus depot side. What? Oh, I'm assuming that's it right there that I can see glowing in the distance. You know, not gonna lie. Not a huge fan of being chased around by Kranzi Soldats. And Wardens. And Manglers. And Tempests. This is way more chaotic than I was anticipating. Not gonna lie. But once again, thank God for the Galil. Okay, so what do we do? We place construct spear, okay? Okay, I saw it, but I feel like I'm gonna die if I stay there too long. Oh, is it a soul box? It looked like a soul box for a second then. It is a soul box, okay. Okay, ring of fire really does not seem to be that strong in this game, which sucks, because I now really regret picking it up. It also just seems like a really dangerous idea to be using it, considering there's so many goddamn things chasing me constantly. Left mouse to throw spear, Press and hold R to, reco uh, to recall. Uh, really so, well, bam. What does that do? Does it just deal damage over time? Yeah, it looks like it. Leg oh, I mean, to be fair, though, if you hit them... Ah! Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can definitely see... Okay, point hitting them, like, direct, I can definitely see why this could be considered a pretty good weapon. And the fact that I just get to reclaim all of my, uh, my spears that I throw. And now, with the spear obtained... We need to find a generator, which I'm assuming is this. And I need to... That's the wrong thing. <laughs> and I need to hit it with the spear. That not the generator? At the bottom of the lighthouse? So are we inside? Oh, this thing? Oh, yep. That's what I was supposed to hit. I see that now. Ascend. All players must be here. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at like these big generators outside the thing. I'm like, is this what I'm supposed to hit? Oh, I don't like this. I feel like I'm going to get jump scared. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay, place Ted there. And apparently I need to place him on the other one. No? Yeah? No? Don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I got a cutscene. Oh, you, I swear to God, if you maybe play Samantha Says, I'm quitting on the spot. I've got to do fucking Samantha Says. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Um... <laughs> Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I, uh, this makes me feel so dumb every single time. Wait, was that it? No, I did it wrong. Okay, yep. Duh, 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 duh. All right, we do it. We did it. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy hell. Why did? Where did that? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just standing still like an idiot whilst nine million things spawned. Now what do I do? <laughs> Just die? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I'm leaving. You can't drop Vanguard stuff on me. Whilst I'm having a good day. Okay, the guy says I need to interact with Ted to trigger a memory. Which I'm assuming is what that dialogue was that ended with Court Effects. Oh. 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 I see. Green. What? Oh, okay, I failed it. Okay, I know what I'm doing now though, so you do get quite a lot of time. But these are not dials. <laughs> like, I'm sat over here looking for, like, something completely different to what these are. Oh, there's one here. I'm so dumb. 
I just did not spot the fact there's two here. God, I'm such a... I actually am... Like, the blindest and silliest person on the planet. Oh, more baddies to shoot. Never mind. <laughs> the simplest things actually just break my brain. Oh my god, there's a tempest inside the goddamn thing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm going to have a goddamn tempest shooting at me the entire time. This is cheating. Like, this is actually unfair. Oh my god, go, like, oh! <laughs> this is going to get so annoying. He's going to get very old very quickly, pal. Okay, actually, that does damage to him. So we're going to just keep... There we go. You douche. I have a feeling I'm getting very close to a boss fight, which I'm not going to lie. Get, it's starting to worry me. Because I feel like I'm nowhere near set up for a boss fight. But I feel like I'm close. Alright, that should be all of them. Nope, still one more, I'm assuming. This Galil, by the way, is nuts. <laughs> Just shreds everything with so much ease. Do I need to go around and shoot it by any chance? Yeah, I do. I'm dumb. Just sat here blasting tempests as if there isn't a reason for them spawning. How I've made it this far in life is beyond me. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that base tickled my brain in all the right ways, but for all the wrong reasons. Engaging emergency ejection procedure. Oh, this one's your gut. We're leaving. We did I grab it? I, I did. Did I? I did. Thank God. Okay, we are out of here. Get most PhD coming in clutch. Get me out. I'm blind. That is so bright. <laughs> Every single time. All right. Home sweet home. <laughs> Like nothing ever happened. Preparations for before pursuing the Lord of Parasites. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming then they've just mentioned like preparation for something several times. I feel like we're getting very close to a boss fight. And the bus spawns right next to me. So we're going to get the Galil pack a punch. Can I pack a punch this thing? Doesn't look like I can, unfortunate. All right, but Galil has been fully maxed out. Got the rest of our perks. Do I reclaim any old guns by any chance? I didn't. Kind of sad. <laughs> but with that, we are leaving. Oh. Oh, there's continue objectives or there's continue quest. Hmm. Oh, decisions. <laughs> what do I want to do? I feel like continue. Oh, wait. When. <laughs> ah, okay. Actually, reading the guide, doing that basically begins the ending sequence, which is leading up to boss fight. So. No, I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going for it, pal. Continue quest. All right, we place Artemis. Whoa. Well, hello there. Oh, Greg, I gotta go find nav cards. Wonderful. Well, luckily for you, I do, because I see one glowing right there. <laughs> okay, so that actually makes them very easy to spot. That's also in the original spot, I believe, from uh, Transit. So, that has me wondering. Actually, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I have no idea where these other two are going to be. I would also like to spin the box a few times, considering I've got Mule Kick. Just to see if I can get, like, an LMG, like a legendary LMG. Maybe the Scavenger. Yeah. Yeah. And I can have the Scavenger and this Legacy thing. That is a little bit nutty. Okay, actually, no, I have PhD. I should be fine. <laughs> Where's Pack-a-Punch? I do not... Actually, no, this could be... Wait, is that? No. I thought I could see something glowing up there. Well, yeah, I can see something glowing up there. I knew I could. Eh, this probably isn't the smartest idea coming up. Wait, how do I... There we go. I should... I feel like I should probably be looking for Pack-a-Punch. But at the same time, now that I've moved into the final sequence, I don't know if I can get more points to Pack-a-Punch this to its maximum, like, tier. Because I assume this is going to need, like, three tiers to be, like, as powerful as it possibly can be. But well, to be fair though, it is still killing things in one shot, so maybe I don't need pack a punch. I mean, it's still very powerful. Actually, we should, we'll head over to Area 51 anyway. See if I can upgrade it. Okay, scavenger, pack a punch. I can in fact upgrade the scavenger. Oh, the gold camo looks so good. Can I upgrade it more or is there only one? There's only one. Okay, that's perfect. So we got a max upgrade scavenger for 5,000 points. And I also took a little liberty of having a little gander at the guide whilst I was on my way over to pack a punch. And apparently, the final nav card is with our good friend Arthur in a cemetery outside the church, which is all the way over there. <laughs> so we've got to go for a run once again. Okay, cemetery is there to my right. And apparently... Oh, I just think I just saw it. Yeah, I did. Our boy Arthur. Poor guy. 
Thanks for the nav card, though. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta fight the Shadow Man. <laughs> okay. That's where I'm heading. Off to fight the Shadow Man, and if I die, I'm gonna be very upset, because <laughs> I don't want to do all this again. Oh, let's be fair, I feel like I'm pretty confident going into this. I've got two Wonder Weapons. Scavenger, Galil is a great combination. The Galil is insanely powerful. Scavenger's a scavenger. This thing's nuts, and like, any day of the week. And hopefully this legacy thing can come in clutch as well, because it's pretty good. Well, that is, in fact, a very bright portal, which I suppose is what I've got to head through. Okay, that was really anticlimactic. Didn't realize I was gonna have to manually press the button. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was so cool. Okay, so... <laughs> I can't even pronounce that name, so I'm not gonna bother. Has three health bosses, probably three phases to the fight. How do I deal damage to him? Okay, so that's a big no-no. Alright, so it looks like we've just got to fight some zombies right now, which is fine. I can get ammo from them as well, which is good. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, pal. I hate it when bosses talk to me in the middle of a fight. What the hell is getting- what is going on? So much shaking. Oh, hello, what the hell? What the hell? Okay, so I did read something in the guide that apparently he has like a bunch of different attacks. Uh, like he's got a laser attack, he's got some sort of mine attack, which is what I think I just witnessed. What the hell? Okay, so... Okay, I see. Okay, so orbs, what did I do last time? I had to throw something into them. A door just- okay, that's electric, okay. Ow. My legs. Get me out of there. Okay, that was fine. What's in here? Skulls? Oh, not this again. I gotta turn into- goddamn. I don't know who's a famous footballer. Like American football, I don't know. <laughs> Stupid sport, who watches it? Get rid of those. Oh my god! <laughs> Scavenger takes a little while to go boom, I see. Okay, 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 okay. I saw one other- there it is. That's the other orb thing I saw. Oh my god, he has a laser. Okay, throw that into there. Oh, there's one more orb thingy down there. That's good. Throw down a bunch of those, slow the zombies. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Throw the spear down, slow the zombies, run away. I'm so smart, I'm so smart. Give me skull. Oh, there's one right there. I actually don't think he can hurt me whilst I'm in here, which is great. And that last orb thing was down here. It was, where was it again? Right there. Throw you in there. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There is one thing down. Or is he now just damageable? Oh, he's damageable. Perfect. Scavenger, do your thing. That did nothing. <laughs> okay, so Scavenger's probably just a zombie killing machine. And I reckon we're gonna have to use the Galil to actually deal damage to him. Oh, I, oh my god. He, his health does not go down at all. <laughs> Wait, is it going down? I can't tell. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, the Galil is actually chunking his health very nicely. <laughs> the Galil shreds! Oh my god, why am I getting hurt? Oh, it's a laser. Holy hell. Holy moly. I almost died. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Okay. Back to shooting zombies. I'm just waiting for that. I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing again then. God, it'd be really helpful if this robotic voice wasn't so difficult to understand. Humanoid begin footsteps. What? Oh my god, what is going on? Oh, it's another laser. Is it another laser? Yeah, it is. I think I'll. Oh, it tracks me! Oh my god! <laughs> PhD saved me. Okay, so another door opened. This is fine. Activate. Oh, I didn't like that. No. Open? <laughs> Open. Please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is just zombies. I got a galeer. Ow, what the hell was that? Oh, it's a big old mangler. Oh my god, he's huge. 
Oh my god, he's actually massive. What the hell is that thing? Okay, scavenger's gonna do the business. I can feel it. Okay, just keep shooting him with the scavenger. It's gonna kill him eventually. It has to. There we go. You see? Scavenger just does the business. Oh, what is that thing? Grab the gold thing. Is that a jet gun? Oh, it's a mangler cannon. <laughs> oh, hello. Get me out of there. Where is that? Place Mangala Cannon. Run away. Jesus Christ. Okay, so is that another weak spot opened? Or do I just shoot the same place? Shoot the same place. Galil, do your business. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, let's just pay attention to the zombies. Get rid of these guys. This is fine. Shoot him. There we go. Easy peasy. We're grooving. And I'm moving. This hasn't actually been too bad of a boss fight so far. <laughs> and I'm, I'm enjoying it. Better content than MW3 zombies, baby. <laughs> Saying that out loud actually kind of hurts my soul. Not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> okay, tempered. Oh, no, we've got elite spawning now as well. God damn it. This could actually now get a little bit scary. But the Galil, though, still doing the business. This Artemis does not seem to be as, oh god, effective than as, as what I was thinking it would be. It's fine. Worm? That's rude. Uh-oh. Okay, another door opens. I'm not going in there. I am going in there. Cause Oh, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yep, I'm in there. Sorry. <laughs> the whole floor decided to just start shocking me. So I was like, yeah, I'm in. I'm in there, I guess. Okay, let's just shoot down a couple of scavengers. Can't hurt me. What the hell do I do? Oh, did I just kill the Tempest? Does this scavenger refill ammo from these ammo drops? I can't tell. Or do I shoot this thing? What do I do here? I don't really know. <laughs> I, like, genuinely don't know. Okay, something happened. Okay, something is happening. Don't know what, though. Uh, uh, don't know what I just did. No. I think I did. Huh? <laughs> New objective found. Finish the fight. Okay, so do I go in there now? Oh, no, we just shoot it. Okay. A lot of bullets. Oh, I have, like, do I just have unlimited ammo for this? Yep, it looks like it. The screen's going white. <laughs> We're just blasting away. Bombless mags. Okay, I'm slightly going blind. Yep, okay. I think we're done. Are we done? What happens if I just stop shooting? Oh, God. I can't... Oh, God. I can't see a thing. <laughs> I thought I broke it. And there we have it. The end. One down on the board. 1,300 kills. 500 headshots. That map is incredible. <laughs> I can't believe it took me four months to get around to finally playing it. But goddamn, that was that was an experience that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Like, sure, the map isn't necessarily like the prettiest to look at. It's not like a, it's not like the best eye candy. You know, you kind of just work with what you've got in the in the worked in the uh, in you know the, with mod tools and whatever. But the fact that I believe they got like the original cast back to do like brand new lines for a custom map, or at least that's what it felt like to me at least. Insane. <laughs> uh, really good quest. The characters that were introduced, really, really good. Really liked all that. Like, that Galil smacked, honestly. <laughs> Best girl in the mod for sure. Genuinely, just like, that, that was a great, great map. I would highly recommend giving that a run if you can. Like, so that's just so good. So good. <laughs> And with that, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Satch, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.